Good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is David Schlothauer here in the home weather office watching the severe weather for May the 7th, 2023. In this video, we are monitoring for severe weather chances over the next three to five days across the high plains, the Midwest, the upper Midwest, and at times even for the deep south and the northern plains. So as always, we are going to look at the HRRR model, which stands for High Resolution Rapid Refresh. This is a meso model. This is what we use when tracking severe weather, tornadoes, maybe hail potential, strong wind potential, and other perimeters that we like to look at. So in this case, we are going to look at the HRRR since it's a high resolution model, and this kind of indicates where we could have some severe weather over the next couple of days. So to start off, this is a look at 6 p.m. Central Daylight Time, and we can see where we are going to see some strong thunderstorms that could erupt, including for Western Illinois, into perhaps central Tennessee, western Kentucky, and then we got a new group of showers and thunderstorms that looks very likely to develop across central and western Nebraska. Also, some storms down here in the central western area of Texas. These are going to get more widespread, just like we had yesterday, and this comes with it some daytime heating, which is lending the likelihood for these storms to erupt every afternoon. So let's go now into Sunday evening into early Monday morning, and we can see here storms really get going, especially over central and southern Iowa, um, eastern Nebraska. If you're even in northeastern corner there of Kansas, it's going to be very rough there. We're looking at some very large hail that could reach two inches in diameter. We're looking at some strong damaging winds with these thunderstorms because we have some evaporative cooling aloft. That's going to really bring down with it some of those strong gusty winds associated with these storms along to go with maybe a tornado or two. We got, again, some uh, boundary-like showers that do set up over central uh, Tennessee through the evening into the overnight hours. So, again, that could bring with it some strong winds, including for Illinois up here. We got some thunderstorm chances that look to be quite severe for early Monday morning. So, for your morning commute, let's go all the way into right around 7 in the morning central time. And we can see here still some showers and thunderstorms here that could cause your morning morning commute to get significant delays, possibly anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour. So if you're going to work early in the morning, just prepare for some wet roadways, maybe some severe thunderstorms that could be anticipated into the overnight hours in your area. So just give yourself some extra time. And then it looks like uh, early on tomorrow, like right around four o'clock central time, looks like a lot of you all are looking pretty dry. But again, don't get fooled by those blue tranquil skies because we're going to have more thunderstorms down here across uh, western Kentucky in portions there of southern uh, portion there of Missouri, southeastern Missouri, and yet again in Texas here where we do have strong showers and thunderstorms that are anticipated. Again, this is kind of with what we were talking about in my previous videos, how the nights we would see a gradual decrease in thunderstorms in certain areas, and then the storms would reinitiate every afternoon. That's because, again, during the night we have a capping inversion because we don't have any daytime heating on uh, at the surface and then once the sun comes up heats the ground up we get steepening mid-level lapse rates even low level lapse rates and we start getting that mixing going on and once that occurs we start getting these convective showers that really initialize and when they do we can see some very large hail strong winds and tornadoes which we are seeing today and even for tomorrow. And that continues all the way into Tuesday morning. Looks less coverage in terms of severe weather or any thunderstorms in the upper Midwest and the Northern Plains. But don't get fooled. We're going to see more storms fire up again Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday. And then again Wednesday into Thursday. We're just going to see this diurnal cycle of storms repeatedly initiating because of that daytime heating that we typically see with the high sun angle. We're almost in summertime so that uh, sun angle is much higher it heats up the ground more faster we get that mixing sooner and then that's why we get these storms along to go with a lot of moisture at the surface which helps pump these storms in so 
Here's a look at how much thunderstorm juice you're going to see. This is basically jet fuel for any supercells, any linear segments that use up this air mass. Uh, how destabilized is it going to get? So this is surface base cape or surface base convective available potential energy. And we can see very high numbers today, anywhere between uh, four to 5,000 joules of cape out there of thunderstorm juice even up here in illinois and iowa we're looking at quite a bit of thunderstorm jet fuel juice that is going to be in place and that's why these storms are going to be quite strong that tapers off and then look at this by monday again down here across oklahoma texas quite a bit of thunderstorm juice and that's where again we're going to start seeing these thunderstorms erupt along that boundary lots of high dew points in the mid to upper 70s and that's going to lead to a lot of destabilization very steep mid-level lapse rates of eight to nine celsius on top of this air a very warm moist air mass is going to really lead to a lot of destabilization this continues all the way into tuesday into wednesday with again a repeated cycle of storms so another thing I like to look at is lightning flash density on the European model. And just to go to show you that this is not a one, two, done deal. This is going to be a few days, possibly five or six days of this. And if we take a look at today, lots of lightning strikes with these storms. And then it kind of initializes again tomorrow afternoon and then Tuesday afternoon see this how they just pop up all over now it's not going to look exactly like this but this is just kind of giving you a rep representation of what might be coming as far as how unstable the air is going to be each and every day then Wednesday same ordeal again more storms and then we will repeat the same thing again on Thursday here where we're going to have a lot of outflow boundaries a lot of clustering a lot of linear segments and again, it's, it continues all the way through Friday. So it's going to be kind of an everyday thing. So if you're under a slight risk or an enhanced risk, just take it a little seriously because that's probably what we're going to be dealing with a lot of this week. And speaking of enhanced risk, the Storm Prediction Center has issued a level three out of five on the severity weather index scale for northern Missouri, for central southern Iowa, as well as southeastern Nebraska, north western portion or northeastern i should say of kansas with slight risks issued further south into texas as well as illinois into western kentucky and tennessee we take a look here at our day one uh tornado risk you can see uh this is again driven by that enhanced risk so a five percent chance of tornadoes today of course there is a 30 sig for strong winds again like i said we got evaporative cooling aloft so that's going to bring down these very intense downdrafts at the surface we might see wind gusts between 65 to 75 miles an hour at times especially when the storms first initialize is when our winds could be the strongest that kind of the downdrafts uh, could be very impressive also some significant winds in northern texas we're also looking at a hail risk too. So possibly two plus inch hailstones across Iowa, as well as Eastern Nebraska. This is also including for, again, the Texas region where we are seeing storms fire up there already. And these storms are going to be a problem. Day two, slight risk for severe weather. That's driven mainly by wind and hail over Missouri into Southern and Central Illinois. Then, of course, there is a day three slight risk over northwestern Oklahoma, central and southern Kansas. And we will do the same thing with day five. There's already a slight risk for severe weather, a 15% for the southern and central high plains of Texas, Oklahoma, western Kansas, and western Nebraska. I'm assuming this is going to probably be driven by large hail and some very strong winds. Probably not going to see a lot in the way of tornadoes here just because the shear is going to be quite variable anywhere between 20 to 30 knots. Again, there were, we haven't had a lot of dynamic situations here. And assuming with what the models show, we're not going to see a whole lot in the way of tornado genesis with this slight risk. It's going to be, again, mainly driven by wind and hail that 
um, uh, for day five. So that's for Thursday and a Friday. Also, one more thing that I wanted to promote in this YouTube video is please check out Trilogy Maps right now. I am incredibly excited to announce that I'm officially an affiliate with TrilogyMaps.com. The link will be in the description and the pinned comment below. Trilogy Maps has created the highest definition, the most customizable digital maps you can find anywhere online at a highly affordable price. These maps are so customizable due to a very unique layering system that makes it possible to create whatever map you like. Making weather maps that look incredibly professional has never been this easy before. So if you want the highest definition, the most customizable, and the most professional looking weather maps that you can make up for a very affordable price, go ahead and check out TrilogyMaps.com. And again, be sure to use my 20% off discount code by going to TrilogyMaps.com and then entering the code DAVID before finalizing your purchase. Now that I did promote TrilogyMaps.com, it's a good idea that I do promote my YouTube channel. If you guys are new and you did like today's detailed weather video and update on the severe weather, please consider subscribing if you're new, hitting the like button, and sharing this video with your family and friends on social media, and leave a comment in the section below. Let me know how you like today's video. But that's going to do it in today's severe weather forecast. Uh, have a great rest of your day on your Sunday, and I'll be back with you tomorrow with an update on El Nino. We've got to look at that because it is developing quite quickly.